Hello, I hope you're doing well. My name is Yona. I'm a makeup artist and photographer based out of Austin, Texas. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a very overdue review. Um, today I want to talk about the Canon EOS R. Uh, this is a camera that I purchased last year and as soon as I let my social media know that I had a new camera, I had a couple of people asking me to do a review. Um, however, um, I had to wait. I wanted to wait to make sure I have tested it through up and downs and right now it's about almost a year since I've had it um, and I am ready to say goodbye. I am moving on to another camera and a system but I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to talk about this camera and the things that I loved about it, the things that uh, was an issue and um, why am I moving somewhere else <laughs> to a different company. So I purchased this Canon EOS R last year, I think it was in springtime, um, because I just wanted a different main body. And at that time I wasn't doing that much of a weddings, um, so the two uh, car slot wasn't an issue. But right now, since last year, I've started working more with wedding jobs, and so that has become one of you know, a concern. I wanted to make sure I have dual slots so that I have a copy of my memory card exactly on the other one, just in case. So that's honestly one of the main reasons I'm moving um, to a different system, but it's not the only reason. <laughs> so I had purchased a 35mm lens uh, for this camera, but I also got an adopter so I was able to use all of my other Canon regular um, lenses with this. Um, just for an FYI, it's a full frame camera and it's the first mirrorless that can ever released. Um, ever since then there are even better uh, models out there, uh, but this was um, the first mirrorless full frame that I owned, so I can compare it to another company or a model. So here's that. The other issue that I've had with this, aside from the dual slot, it only has one slot, is that um, there is an issue with video. It does not have a body stabilizer. And I didn't realize how much of an issue that is once you start doing more video. Um, it, it has zero stabilization, so it was a headache to try to work with this. Um, I had to always make sure that it's on a tripod or it's on a gimbal. Otherwise, it was a lot of shake, literally earthquake. It was pretty bad. Um, there is also another issue with videos, and this wouldn't be a concern to you if you're just primarily using it for photography, uh, but I do both. So for video, there is, I didn't find an easy way of toggling between video and a photo, which is a major issue for me because some of my packages I offer video. So I want to be able to go quick between, you know, photos and video. And it did not have any, like, quick video button. Uh, so what you do, you go to a mode, and then you have to go back into the menu and change from video into photo. And by then, it does not carry over any of the settings of the photo. So you have to start fresh setting up everything for video now you're going back to photo your setting is not carrying over which is a major issue for me because i shoot mostly outdoors so if you're shooting indoors i don't think it would be an issue for you because you're controlling the light in the studio but with outdoor shooting every five minutes or so uh, especially at sunset time the light is changing so the problem comes around where I'm losing really precious moments um, just trying to set it up for the video and photo. Sorry about my dog is barking. Um, Alright, so yeah, the other issue that I've had with this is the color. Even though you're shooting on RAW, when you're um, transferring the photos and you're trying to work with different bodies, you realize that all of the cameras and the models, even the RAWs are Compar comparably different. So like if you have a Sony RAW, it's going to be different than the Canon RAW. It would be a different than, let's say, a Fuji RAW. So obviously the RAW is different and I knew that. 
uh, I was comparing it with my Canon 5D Mark series and I wanted to use, you know, both of these raws together and I realized that the color on this one is a little dirty green, like a muddy green and yellow. And I'm a, I'm a heavy Canon user, so I love the green or yellow tint that comes with green rows. Uh, that's why I usually shoot on Canon. But even for me, um, I wasn't able to understand like how how this was the case. And also, it took a lot more time me trying to take out this mud out of it, and it just wouldn't look as crisp as my 5D Mark series rows. So that was another thing. So I'm really happy that I'm moving away from this. I don't have to deal with editing color gradient anymore. <laughs> so now if you are not a photographer by trade and so maybe you're a hobbyist or you're doing this for fun and you're not doing client work as heavily, I think this would be a great camera. If the one slot camera, like um, memory card is okay, that's not an issue and you don't shoot a lot of videos or if you're doing a video would be something on a tripod like a YouTube style. I love the fact that it has a flip screen so you can definitely see yourself while you're shooting and that was one of the actually major reasons I purchased it but I ended up not shooting that many YouTube videos. Now I'm using my camera with a mirror behind, so it's fine, it's still see myself. But it definitely helped to have a flip screen. So that's a major uh, plus, and also super lightweight. It's really, really nice to be lightweight and compact, uh, especially if you're using the lenses that comes with it. So you're not using the adapter and old lenses, it comes with a lot of more um, less weight than you would have experienced using any of the old Canon DSLR cameras. <laughs> Another plus is that you're able to buy an adapter and use all of your old lenses from Canon so they all are compatible. I've never had any issues shooting any of them and I have a complete set of lenses um, and has never been an issue. However, I do definitely like the 35 that I purchased with it. I feel like the combination works a lot better because the lens is more modern so they do a lot better together than they would have with my old lenses so I would recommend to buy the lenses if you can if you can afford to purchase the lenses that comes with the series other than that yeah I think um, this was an alright purchase looking back um, I think I would have maybe held on to it a little bit less than I did. I'm moving forward now to Sony. I have purchased the Sony 7 III and I'm loving the video capability of it so far. This video is being shot on that. Uh, so I'm excited to also try and see um, how my photography style is going to change moving to Sony. So that will be my main camera. I'm still going to hold on to my Canon. Um, DSLR, old DSLR 5D, uh, but we're moving over to Sony for this year uh, because it does have dual slots and uh, the video has stabilization and I also love the fact it has a button where I could switch from photo to video really quickly if I have to. So um, yeah, this is it for this video. I'm sorry it took me such a long time to review this camera. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down at the bottom and I'll see you next time. Bye!